Merry Christmas. Well, it's not Christmas. Christmas is over, but my boy Santa Claus came in clutch and got me all these new toys for Christmas. Let's go over what I got in this haul. You know, every single year I think I was naughty, but then my boy Santa Claus comes in clutch and gets me all of this stuff. Thank you, Santa. I love you so much. I don't really know where to start off, so I think we're going to do in different sections. So if you're someone that wants to see something specific that I got, make sure you go to the timestamps down below. But it really uh, mean the world if you watch the entire video. And plus, now I'm monetized on YouTube, so please hit the, the like button and comment because um, I can make money from YouTube now. And that's kind of cool. So, yeah. <laughs> Stocking stuffers. Now, not all of the gifts that I'm about to show you were in my stocking, but they're all small in their size that I'm going to consider them stocking stuffers. We got candies, like these Skittle gummies. Now, I did open these to try them because I've never seen Skittle gummies before. They are really good, but I should not be eating these. Some fruit snacks. My favorite candy, Swedish Fish. M&M's. Cookies and cream chocolate. Godiva chocolate. Freeze-dried fruit, which is probably the only thing I should be eating out of any of this because it's the only thing that's healthy. And finally, a Dungy Award? Oh wait, it has little mini candies in here. They taste terrible. It's so hard to see, but on the candy, it actually has the print of the Office logo. Now, let's say I just ate all of that candy. I'm gonna need to get that out of my mouth. So I'm gonna need a toothbrush and some toothpaste. I got a gas gift card and a Disney gift card. I'm going to Disney in less than two weeks, so I'm definitely going to be using that there. I got this really cool wireless charger, but look how cool it looks. It has my name on it, along with the Sensational 6. I'm turning 21 next year. I gotta look and smell good. So, we got some razors, some shaving cream, and we got some body wash, which is from Bath & Body Works, which I'm not going to lie... They have some really good men's scents. Go and check them out. And finally, I have Bath & Body Works Noir Cologne. So I can smell good for the ladies. Woo! <coughs> Maybe not that much, though. Clothes. Let's go and dive into all the clothing stuff that I got for Christmas. I got some gloves that have snowflakes on them. Socks. A variety of different pants. Mickey pajama pants. And a variety of different shirts. I got more shirts than this, but some of them I'm going to return for different styles since... I found some other styles online that I like better. Miscellaneous. All the next gifts that I show you are all going to be under different categories. I just don't have a category to put them in. So here's a miscellaneous category. Hot sauces. If you guys don't know, I work at a hot chicken restaurant and my coworkers love trying new hot sauces. So I cannot wait to bring these to work and try how spicy they are. The Office 12 Day of Socks. 12 different socks that are all variety of characters and messages from The Office. Fakos, aka fake lego my sister got this for me and i was like i only like real lego and she said oh well keep it because i'm not returning it so now i got some fake lego one two three hundred eight three hundred and nine was five pounds not enough for you two thousand two thousand one two thousand two i got some weights if you guys don't know i've lost some weight and now it's time to build some muscle, and of course, the only way to do that is by lifting. So, let's see uh, how I look next year for Christmas. Maybe I look fatter, but hopefully I look skinnier than where I am right now. 55 pounds down, baby! A pro Xbox controller. These controllers are so cool, I've never used them before. But maybe I can actually get better video games now. Maybe? Maybe not. We'll have to wait and see. Find me on Twitch to see if I do better. An air fryer, because guess what, guys? Frying your food is not good for you, so why not do it with air, which has no oil in it? And finally, a variety of pots and pans, because I've been cooking a lot this year, and I need some new pots and pans. So maybe I'll do more cooking streams on Twitch using these. Funko Pops. Now this year, I started collecting Funko Pops. Now I used to have some in the past, but this year, I started going hard and building up a Funko wall right next to my PC. Here's a picture of it right here. And I guess Santa Claus knew because Santa got me a lot of Funko Pops this year. So let's go over them right now. So I got four Disney and Pixar Funko Pops. I have a Captain Hook, Olaf, but as Ariel, Mike, which you can see Mike doing this in the end credits of the first Monsters, Inc. movie back in 2001. And finally, a Flock Sully. 
I got two Funko Pops from The Office. I have Michael Scott, of course, as Willy Wonka. And then Kevin Malone, which I already have this one, so I'm going to go and return it and exchange it for a new one. I also have two Fortnite Fungo Pops, the Triceratops, and the Mandalorian from Chapter 2, Season 5, but in Chrome. It's the guy from Fortnite. <laughs> that, that joke ran its course a long time ago. I'm so sorry that I just said that. The majority of the Fungo Pops that I got were all from Marvel, so let's go over all the Marvel Pops. Captain America as a zombie, Raptor Thanos, and Captain Carter. Sam Wilson, Captain America, and Bucky Barnes from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Doctor Strange, Loki, and the Iron Spider. And finally, my favorite Fungo Pops I got were the 50s version of Vision and my favorite girl, Wanda Maximoff, but in her Halloween outfit. And here's an overview of all the Funko Pops that I got. Lego! Every single year I ask for Lego sets as I've been a Lego collector since 2010 and my family as Santa Claus every single year delivers on what I ask for. So let's go and show you guys the Lego sets that I got. Now I got 12 CMF packs this year, but if you remember on my YouTube channel just a few weeks ago, I opened up a variety of minifigure packs. So I felt up all the packs that I got and I actually felt out the four missing minifigures that I didn't get in that pack opening, which was the popcorn guy, the wolf, the Sailor, and then the Turkey. So now I have a complete series of Series 23. Next, I'm going to show you all the gifts that I got, which are gifts with purchase. If you don't know, at the Lego store, if you spend a certain amount of money, you get these free Lego sets. So I'm going to show you guys which ones I got. A winter holiday train. A skiing Santa Claus. This next gift of purchase, I didn't even know existed until I opened it up on Christmas Day. But it's these Lego minifigure head coasters. And I turn 21 years old next year. So... Let's say I do get an alcoholic beverage. I guess I now know what to put it on. Ray the Castaway. Santa's Workshop. The Winter Elf scene, which I already got because I made a big Lego purchase back in November. So this will just be a duplicate that I'll just leave in the box. Finally, the Tribute to the Lego House, which has five different models that are all included in the real Lego house that you can now get a miniature size scale of. Next, I have the Iron Groot set, which I already own, but that's okay because I'm just gonna go to the Lego store, it, return it, and then use that credit to buy a new Lego set that I don't own. I also got a few Lego busts. We got Venom, the Mandalorian, a Dark Trooper, and finally, the Luke Skywalker helmet. I love all of these helmet sets. They are a little bit overpriced in my opinion, but they look so good on display. And I have every single one built in on display in my room. So these are all going to be added to my collection. This one make a fine addition to my collection. Now we're getting to the last of it. We got the Lego Back to the Future DeLorean and then the Office Lego Idea set, which I've been waiting for so long now. And I'm so excited to have all these amazing characters now in Lego form. Now, for my final gift that I got for Christmas, which is my favorite present that I got for Christmas. Let's, uh, let's cue the music, baby. I got the Lego Black Panther, which is going to look so good on display, and I love this set so, so much. Now, it is super overpriced at $350, but guess what? My boy Santa Claus came in clutch. He, uh, got it for me, so thank you so much, Santa. I love you. Wakanda forever. <laughs> Wakanda forever! Yeah! That was so cringe, I'm so sorry. Here's an overview of all the Lego sets that I got this year. I just want to take this time right now to say a very big thank you to anyone in my family that may be watching this right now. Thank you so much for any of these gifts that you guys contributed to. I appreciate it so very much. And of course, a very big thank you to the jolly old elf, Mr. St. Nicholas, Santa Claus, for any of the gifts that was shown in this video that he got me. Santa Claus, you've been delivering gifts to my place since 2002. And guess what? Every single year you deliver and you make me happy every single morning on Christmas Day. So Santa Claus, I love you so much and thank you for all of these gifts. Now in the comments down below, please tell me anything that you guys got for Christmas. And if you want to share any of the cool Lego sets, Funko Pops, or anything else that you guys got, make sure you head into my Discord server and send those pictures of what you got because I would love to see what you may have unwrapped on Christmas Day. If you guys enjoyed this haul video for Christmas, make sure you guys go and check out my past few Christmases where I did a haul. And I am going to Disney World in just two weeks. And every single time I go to Disney, I absolutely love sharing my experience with you guys. It's what I love to do. It's what I aspire to be, a Disney vlogger. So hit that subscribe button if you want to see those videos. 
Thank you so very much, everyone, for sticking around to the very end of this video. I hope you guys had a great Christmas. Have a happy new year and a great 2023. So long, pals.